Hi friends, it's Miss Easton, and guess what book I have today? I have another Eric Carle book. It's called Little Cloud. So this is the title of our story, and it's written by Eric Carle. So he is the author, and then he's also the illustrator. Very good. So this is a story about a little cloud. See, what do you see in the cloud? Remember I told you that Eric Carl makes his pictures very special. So he puts different textures in them, or he puts different patterns in them. Maybe sometimes he does collages. It's really cool. So in this story, this little cloud turns into some different things. And what I like to do after I read this story is if it's a nice day, go outside and lay down on the ground and look up to the sky and watch the clouds. There's, the clouds make so many different shapes. So I want you to do that on a nice day after you read this story. And then I want you to think about the different shapes you can see in the clouds, okay? So let's find out what this little cloud turns into. You ready? Okay, let's go. The clouds drifted slowly across the sky. Little cloud trailed behind. So where's little cloud? He's at the bottom. The clouds pushed upward and away. Little cloud pushed downward and touched the tops of the houses and trees. So see him? He's below all the other clouds. The clouds moved out of sight. Little cloud changed into a giant cloud. And what's on the giant cloud? A face. See? Eyes, nose, mouth. Okay, now we change to something else. Little cloud changed into a sheep. Sheep and clouds sometimes look alike. Okay. Little cloud change into an airplane. Little cloud often saw airplanes flying through the clouds. Little cloud change into a shark. Little Cloud once saw a shark through the waves of the ocean. Remember what a shark says? Dunna, dunna. Little Cloud changed into two trees. Little Cloud liked the way trees never moved and stayed in one place. Little Cloud changed into a rabbit. Little Cloud loved to watch rabbits dash across the meadows. Then Little Cloud changed into a hat because, why do you think he changed into a hat? Little Cloud changed into a clown and needed a hat. The other clouds drifted back. They huddled close together. Little cloud, little cloud, they called, come back. Little cloud drifted towards the cloud. Then all the clouds changed into one big cloud and what comes out of clouds? When they get dark, rain. So it started to rain. So another really fun activity to do with this book is if you have any shaving cream or your brother or your dad or grandpa's shaving cream, then you can put some on a plate or a table. If you clean it up, you have to clean it up. And then you draw and you make shapes or different patterns 
in the shaving cream. It's really fun. I usually do it at school. So maybe if you ask your parents if you can do it at home, you could do it. Okay? And maybe you could make some of these different shapes like the little cloud. Okay, friends. So if you do the cloud activity where you go outside and look at the clouds, I would love to hear about all the shapes and pictures you see. So just let me know. Bye, friends.